In this video I'm going to give you an example of how you can use the gradient vector how you can use the gradient vector to work out the equation of the tangent plane and uh, and the equation of the line or the normal line okay so let's look at this um, this function uh, when you put a constant so looking at this function when you put a constant into here in our case the constant is zero it will then give you this level level surface so our task our task is to work out the equation of this tangent plane and the equation of the normal line so to work out the equation of the tangent plane we need to we need to compute the gradient vector uh, and in the future we will see why the gradient vector is always perpendicular to the tangent plane we we, we, we will see why in the future but for the time being let's just compute it so um, to work out the uh, the gradient vector uh, looking at our looking at our function um, partially differentiate it with respect to x so um, everything else will be well this is a constant this is a constant this is a constant the, so partially differentiate it with respect to x will give you 6x partially differentiate it with respect to y that would that would be um, 4y and partially differentiated with respect to z that would just be 1 but we now need to evaluate it at our point or oh, forgot to mention that the point in question is uh, 1 across uh, 2 across in the y direction 1 2 and then 3 up 1 2 3 so this point here is currently at 1 2 3 Okay, so I, f I forgot to mention that. Sorry. So anyway, um, that will then give us this thing here. So our our gradient vector is six, eight, one. So our gradient vector is six, eight, one. That's our gradient vector. So um, so from that we can work out the equation of the plane. So to describe this plane, uh, we need to demand that the dot product of this thing, and and our normal and our gradient vector to be um, to be zero. So um, it, w w when when you get to this stage here, you know that um, this thing here describes this vector here. So to describe the plane, just just imagine in your mind any general point. You you need to uh, demand that this vector here to be at 90 degrees to this. Well, at the moment this is not on the plane, so it's not at 90 degrees. If it's on the plane then it will be at 90 degrees so you but don't forget any general point the, the the vector here the vector to get from here to here is given by this which I've explained in the previous video so you need um, so when you get to this stage here need to get to the when you get to this stage here in your mind think of a general point um, X Y and Z and then uh, you need to demand that this vector here is the dot product <coughs> excuse me you need to demand that um, this vector here is 90 degrees to this vector so you need to well this vector here is given by this this vector here is given by this you need to make the demand that these two are 90 degrees meaning the dot product must be equal to zero so from here you can multiply it out so um, this times this this times this this times this. So the equation of our plane is given by this. Okay. So now let's look at our our normal line. The equation of our normal line. So remember, this is our. It, we know we know the gradient vector. So if you want to describe the uh, the equation of the normal line, and by the way, we've done this before in the past. To describe this line, you select a point that that um, that you're interested in, which in our case is one, two, three. So starting our point we would just need to add multiples of our vector so this is our vector here if t is 2 then it will be 2 lots of of this direction and then if t is 3 then add another vector uh, negative 1 uh, negative 2 and so on so uh, this is the way we would describe the equation of this line so with with one position in mind with one point in mind um, add multiples of your gradient vector so that will then describe the, the the line so the equations to describe our line would be this okay 